Alright. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. We gotta go up. And again, yes, we are keeping Kuro's charm. Also, we have to go and get the Bell Demon now, so... We have to go basically make a beeline for that by essentially just going there, I guess. Let's see, did I miss an item? No. So, we need to get the Bell Demon because that's just extra added difficulty to the game. And, well, like I said previously, the game was just too easy on the playthrough, so... I need a little bit more difficulty here, you know what I mean? Otherwise, it's just not hard enough or challenging enough. I need to prove that I'm a good gamer by actually doing this. Well, I don't have to. I just choose to, I guess I should say. But it also makes, you know, it also makes more enjoyable content when games actually are harder. Rather than, like, let me ask you this. How many times have you actually, you know, gone, seen a playthrough... But this guy just basically breezed right through it because it was on an easy difficulty and you were like, oh, well, that's, that's not, you know, that's not really all that great. You sure you see him beat it, but, you know. Come here, you. Sure you see him beat it, but it's like, well, you might as, that, there was just no suffering, no hardships. You just did it. You know, it's. It's pretty much like, a, it would be like a situation just like that, so... Or imagine you went through all of Sekiro and all you do is just basically backstab every enemy and you're like, okay, well I'm a great gamer now because all I did was basically just one-shot all of my enemies to death with this really easy method. There, there's no... There's nothing in that, basically, I should say. You know, you just go through the game and then, and then what? Or even more so, okay, so I was playing Elden Ring on PS4, right? And what had happened was there was this guy I invaded. And he had a friend with him. I would assume it was a friend because he was always with him. So I would assume, yeah, that's that's got to be a friend or something. And what had happened was the friend of his had a modified character. You couldn't kill him. You couldn't deal enough damage to him. You couldn't deal any damage to him. He was literally unkillable by normal means. So, that was all... Like, imagine you have a character just like that. Yeah. That's boring. It makes the game boring. Because you're not really doing anything. You're just taking this uh, literal unkillable character and just going from there. And then you're like, okay, well, I, I beat the game at least. Yeah, but... You didn't really learn anything. You didn't do anything. You just... You just had this god mode of a character, and then you're like, okay, well, I beat it. There's, there's no honor. There's no honor. There's no suffering. There's no hardships. There's no learning anything. You just... You might as well have just played on infant mode. Sorry, but that, it has to be so. But that's basically just infant mode. You know what I mean? It's... That's, that's basically worse than baby mode. It's infant mode. Get up here. Wait. Wait. Why does it say two? Does it not rest me at an idol when I do that? Yeah, I have 35 in storage, so why didn't... Okay. Doesn't make much sense, but alright. I'm probably gonna need a lot of the ungo sugar, by the way. Oh yeah, the fact that this guy is spotting me shows that these guys actually have way more... Okay. Alright. Let's go ahead and do that. And... <clears throat> Hi! No. Bad boy. No. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Woo. And bye bye. Heavy coin purse. But yeah, it, it's just ridiculous. And of course, you know who's gonna win in that situation? I couldn't kill him under any means, and of course he just chased me into infinity because you know he had basically modified stamina as well, modified FP. Yeah, there was just no killing this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. 
jeez. Uh, oh, we're heal Gord, Gord. Die it. Goodbye. Oh, they really came out of the woodworks on that one. But, um, like I was saying, the guy just chased me into infinity because, you know, modified stamina. So, of course, have fun outrunning something with, like, maybe about three times as much stamina. And when you're in comp... Did you seriously just let me run by when I was running right in front of you? Talk about nearsighted vision. I mean, jeez. Oh. Whoops. But yeah, that guy sucked. And if it wasn't for the fact, so I tried, okay, well, surely bleed would work. It dealt zero damage when he got bled. Which is weird, because I guess that also meant that he took zero damage even from bleed. If you're going to block like that, I'm going to poke you. I'm just saying, don't do not do that. I hate it. Now, where's Fat Man? It's supposed to be a fat... Yep, there he is, Fat Man. Can I do this? I can. Nope, get away. Ow, that's more than, that's nearly half my health. Ooh, okay. Batman came to play. Okay. Nope, nope. Go away. Bye bye. Ooh. But, um, anyway, um, yeah, I, I, I couldn't bleed him. I couldn't even do anything. I couldn't frostbite. I couldn't bleed. I, there was nothing I could do against that guy. So he made himself literally unkillable, and I just thought that was a ridiculous thing. And also one of the most untalented things. Like, imagine you have a friend like that, and yet you're still doing poorly. All I'm saying is, you probably deserve to have him as your friend after all. Because if you have to resort to something like that in order to be able to get through the game, I'm sorry, but you suck. Oh. Hey, man. Yep. What happens if I answer her no? Nothing. Okay. Lord Curl's turn. Hey, man, I talked to her. Cool. Now then, before we go and do anything, I want to go back to Harada Estate. Walk. Purchase. Uh, let's go ahead and buy all this. Buy all this. Buy all that. Buy these, because why not? I'm probably going to end up dying quite a few times. But um, we're going to go get the Bell Demon's Charm, which actually is not far from here. And then we'll go into Harada Estate, because... I want to be able to fight Lady Butterfly with both Bell Demon and Kuro's Charm. I said that I would do that in a previous episode, so I'm going to stick to it. I don't know what Bell Demon does entirely, but I'll probably end up looking it up on the wiki, because, uh, you know. I'm pretty sure it increases the, the amount of damage that the enemies deal, so... What gun power. Bye. <laughs> So, nope. 
Eh. Bye. There you go. But, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it increases the amount of damage that enemies deal. Um, it does. Okay. I guess he's just gonna float now. He's floating. Alright then. Oh, I probably should have grabbed the... Damn it. Oh, whatever. Whatever. It's fine. Bibu possession balloon. Possession balloon. Snake skin. Scrap iron. But I'm pretty sure it increases the amount of damage that enemies deal, so... I'll have to find out later. Right now, what's important is that I said I would get it, so I'm gonna get it. You know, I don't want to make myself a liar here. And I'm pretty sure it also leaves a debuff on the bottom left as proof that it's there, so... It'd be great if I could. Where, where am I supposed to be gra- Whatever. Whee! Whee! Where am I going? Oh yeah! And then we go over here. And then we grab that. Sculptor's idol found. Okay. Now we go into the merchant guy. Go ahead, die. Wasn't there something over here, though? I could swear there was, but I guess not. Must be wrong. Let's go to the merchant here. Hey, man. Uh, that night? Nope. Yep, purchase information. Purchase information. I have one. Yep, and all you have to do is go rest, and then he should have some more, uh, a different stock for you. But seeing as I don't really have much of a choice to get the Bell Demon, but then to kill that, uh, big guy over there, I'm gonna have to kill him, so... Might as well. Let's see, where is... Inve okay. Eavesdrop. Okay. Hey, hey no. Hey, let's get this guy. And you die. Oh yeah, they definitely have some vision. Look at that. Okay. I wonder, will the un- will the- no. Let's see, Gotching Sugar. Will that allow me to get a backstab on him like before? I guess we might as well find out. Although if I had to take a wild crack at guessing, I probably won't. But I'll still check anyway. Oh, he's getting vision on me. Yay! <laughs> no! Yes, fire bad. Fire. Nope. Shut up. Wait, what? Are you afraid of this torch here? Yes, fire bad. Fire bad. Isn't it? Heavy coin purse. We'll be going to Harada Estate in a moment. Jeez. No. Bad. Mibu Balloon of Wealth. Okay, so now we gotta go up here. Night Jar Monocular. Yeah, no, I'm good. So, I don't actually want to kill that mini boss down there just yet. And the only reason why we're using Gotching Sugar is simply because I want to get through this and grab the bell demon. I mean, we're going to come back to him either way, right? So we might as well just go ahead and... Uh... Oh, 
No, he's gonna he's gonna alert them. No. You need to die. Ooh, I don't want to meet my first death here. Well, that's why. Sure. Yeah, block that. Ow. Ow. No, no, no. Not meeting my first death here. Can we just go, please? You are pissing me off. Go the hell away. As for you. Go away. Where's the gun? You. Jerk. Actually, I probably could have just gone, come down here and then, uh, eh, whatever. Eight pellets. Oh, go away. And then we gotta come back up here. We gotta come back up here. Is what I meant to say. But yeah, we gotta come back up here, and then we gotta come down here. Divine Confetti. Yeah, I'll fight the Headless soon. Right now, it's not really my concern, since I don't really have the Bell Demon. And... Bah. And then we come up here. Got you in sugar. Yeah, see? Okay. So now... Oh man, my gourds are suffering. Maybe I shouldn't have decided that I want to get the curl or give him curls time. Something is what I desire. I don't know about that one. Ooh, no, 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 no. I'll come back for you, sir. Until then. Okay. Hey, crawl down, weirdo. I hate that guy anyway. What? Let's go ahead and grab this up. And rest up. Okay. Let's see. Read. Do not ring this bell. Inviting misfortune is an act of virtue, but only the stoutest of hearts should ever consider it. Okay. I'm gonna ring it. Touch. Let's see. Sinister burden. Bell demon. A demonic spirit sealed within the iron bell of Senpo Temple possesses those who ring the bell, strengthening enemies around them. The bell demon confers hardship, but perhaps only slightly better spoils. Using this item has no particular effect aside from causing the demon to leave. Oh yeah, it's down there. Bottom left. It is down there. Uh... Eh, let's keep it. So now, we need to go back, and we're gonna go... Hey! Well, at least they do give me better spoils now. I think. I don't know. Alright, now before we go and kill that, we're gonna need... You know what? This one, and then this one. Then we're gonna have... Where is it? We're gonna use... There it is, Divine Confetti. God, why couldn't I find it? 
And finally, you know what? Model purple gourd. So, we're gonna sugar it up. Divine confetti. Model purple gourd. Phoenix's lilac umbrella. No, he's going for my anus! Okay, yeah, that that definitely is does something. Okay, confetti, confetti, confetti. Okay, yep, he is not playing around. Okay, okay, we need Oh, purple gourd! I'm about the time to dive terror. You're not coming for my booty. Ow! He, he got hit me. Okay, got that. Okay, um, sugar, sugar, sugar. Get him, get him, get him good! Ooh, okay, ow, oh. That really hurt. Okay, ow, he's not playing around. He's not playing around. No, 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 no. That's my booty. That's my anus. You're not allowed to have it. That's my purse. I don't know you. And gotcha. Bulging coin purse. Ooh. Whoa, wow. Look at that experience gain. 4,751. Should need all the... Tw I believe it's 25 that I still need. Um, until I have all the skills. Oh, but let's swap items back here. Alright, let's keep going up here. I'm actually quite curious to know what the game is actually like. Like, what if there's a special cutscene if you pick up the Mortal Blade without having died the whole entire playthrough. Does anybody know if the... Does anybody know what that does? If anything? Like, does it give you a special cutscene or an extra line or two? Because you haven't died at any, any time. Up until that point, so I would assume yes, but it could be wrong. Let's go ahead and open this up. We're gonna go clear him out. No, no, no. Got you, got you. Right, got you. We're gonna go clear out all the enemies, is what I mean to say, and then. Grab, yes, grab it. Thank you. And then, we're gonna go fight that mini boss. And then we'll get into Harada's state. But for now, we need to get rid of the guy who alerts everyone. And no, he's not banging on a pot to do so. He's, he's actually using his dummy thick cheeks to actually clap really, really loudly. And he's like, hey, we got enemies over here. And he's clapping really loud. I mean, imagine being able to do that with your cheeks. Get over here! So I know big guy is going to be coming over here. That's good. Hey, man. Okay, let's get rid of him. There should be another guy over here somewhere. Right? Because he was over here last time. Hey man, what's going on? Now let's go get him. Hey. Hi. Hey 
Hey. Hey. Bye. No. Uh uh. No. No. Oh, no. No, I'm not meeting my first death here. No. Eh. Heavy clean first. Thanks, man. Hey, at least I'm almost up to my first skill point from the playthrough. Cool. All right, we're gonna go into new game, or not new game, I mean, uh, Harada Estate. So, we'll see you all in, in a bit on the next episode, so. See you in a bit.